All right, chaps, I'm not here to talk about the house matting. That was one of our local bands from the 1980s. That was their first album. London Nil, whole four. Here to talk about some beer I got sent through the mail today. And that was when I saw they opened the box, that was on it for, oh, look, he's taking a mic. Right then, I got these beers. Oh, so you, you might have guessed who it was from. The, the little mic taker, the, the gentleman called Ant Rogerson. He sent me some beers. I much appreciate it. I didn't realise when I opened the box how many there was. And I can't thank you enough, Ant, for the answer for sending me some bits and bobs through. Wasn't expecting all this, but what do you know, I can't thank you enough. I'd give you a cuddle if you were here. Yeah, I'll go through it all. Got some notes and what the ingredients is used. And there's this little list. And I'll do my best to read what it says. Right then. I'll bring him to the camera. His first one on the show on today's list is a brown porter at 4%. This one is the Columbus Brown Ale, 5.5%. Looks better than my shit at that one. Can't do well that one. Yorkshire Bitter, 3.8%. I'll go for the, what is right down when I want to do the reviews best I can. Let's see, is the man famous for his little dots on the top? And that was a Brambling Cross Smash, that one. Quite clear, there. Eh? And I think you need to sort that out, Ant. I mean, you've got, got, you're from Yorkshire. And it should be tight, and you fill it right up to here. I mean, I know you said man was down here, but I think you was quite envious that I was standing out low, measured beers. So you need to get that sorted out, there. The next one is the Top of the Hops Amarillo. Amarillo. Anthium and Nelson, Nelson, all mixed in. There is a blue top there. Makes these little stamps. Oh, May Sider. This is the next one. You see in there? Roger Imperial Stamp. And that comes in at a low ABV of 8%. The next one is, this one's a, a Penny Black Stout. I think it must have been around when these stamps were available. I think he's, he's, he's enlarged it a little bit. And same again. Oh, you're putting too much in there, mate. Try to, need to cut that back. And from Sue, we received a chocolate strawberry pot. 16%. So half these drinks, never even had before. Never had the port before. I've had a couple of ales, maybe traditional ales, but I've brewed. Portals I've never had. And um, bitter, I've had the Imperial Stout, never tried the Imperial Stout. Listen, limited to what I've, well, I've only tasted what I've brewed and a couple of beer meals I've had in the past. But so I can't thank you enough for, um, for, for what you sent me. What I wasn't expecting. This little gold man, when I walked through the door this, morning, this afternoon. I've seen quite a few reviews online of people doing them and really good brews. I hope I can do it justice by when I taste them. But I'm not the best reviewer. But so I want to read through instructions on what you've done. You see, you've done all your grain bills and things like that, how, you, how you've brewed it. So I'll have a quick read through them, but so much appreciated, then. I don't much appreciate what you sent me. You said you say if you was here I'd give a cuddle. But maybe not on camera. But I can't say it enough, mate. Thanks very much. Much appreciated. And like Christian Brewbear, he does it an Ant Rogers some week. This would be like an Ant Rogers fortnight, I think. I don't think I've got such any this week, I'm on call this week. But so I'll do some and before I start the next week hopefully. Still got a couple in the fridge from other people to try. But it's like it's like I say, mate. Thanks very much, Anne. Much appreciated. And look forward to trying it out.
Thanks very much, John. Cheers.